In this Into the Outdoors at Home edition, we learn about the five fishing gear essentials needed for a first-time angler. We thought it would be best to start with the basics. Matt Ebert, a fishing guide, agreed to help take us from fishing beginners to expert anglers. The first thing you want to know is the fish always bite better early in the morning. So let's grab some rods and reels and get started. One for Zach. Thank you. One for Bella. Thank you. The first thing you'll need to go fishing is a fishing pole, consisting of a rod, a reel, and a line. The second is tackle. There are three different types of tackle that first time anglers might need. Hooks, weights, and floats, also called bobbers. And do you guys ever bait a hook before? No? Well, I'm gonna teach you. Bella, you ready for a worm? My biggest problem with fishing is honestly the worms. They're just so gross and slimy. Touching worms may take some getting used to. <laughs> but they bring us to the third piece of essential gear for beginner anglers, live bait. Night crawlers are most commonly used because pretty much every freshwater fish out there will eat one. You just want to thread it on there ever so gently and let me get mine and then I'll show you how to cast. All right, the first thing we need to do, you two, is adjust the depth that we want to be fishing. We do that by adjusting this little, this little bobber stop here, which will stop the bobber at any, any depth I put it at. Now take your index finger and grab the line. Then take your other hand, your left hand, and open up the bale. And from that point on, you just want to go back and go forward and lightly let off the line. And you're fishing. Now we got to catch some fish. Oh. Okay, I probably got a weed there. Looks like weeds to me. You got one, don't you? Ooh, look yeah, at that one. That's a good one. Great job. Let me let me help you show you how to take it off the hook. Just grab them, push the, the back fin down, wiggle gently, and away he goes. Catching my first fish today was pretty easy. All I had to do was just Drop my hook in. Turns out, fish just really love worms. When you're ready for a new challenge, you can move on from live bait to lures, the fourth thing you'll want to have when heading out fishing. What does someone need to know about bait? All right, well, here are some of your basics. Here we have a stick bait, which is made out of plastic or wood, which mimics a minnow. Here we have an inline spinner, which can act like a wounded fish. This twirls around in the water. And here we have the old spoon. What do you catch with those? So for these bigger lures, we generally catch bigger fish, such as largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, northern pike, and even a muskie every so often. What about worms? Worms work good for the smaller fish, like the bluegills, perch, and your sunfish, like we're catching now, but these are better for the bigger fish. Lastly, essential gear number five is a tackle box. Do you even really need a tackle box? Well, you really don't need one, but it's nice to be able to bring along to carry your hooks, your pliers, your bobbers, your sinkers, all your supplies you need for the day. Oh! You got a bigger one out there? Yeah, I think I've got one on the hook. Got one. Oh yeah. You got a great big one. Is that a sunfish? That is a sunfish. Yeah. Yep. Nice job. Nice fish. Sunfish and bluegills are great beginner fish because they're pretty easy to catch from shore, docks, or from a boat using live bait like worms. They call them panfish because they don't usually grow bigger than the size of a frying pan. Other fishing gear helpful for beginners includes a knot tying book, line cutters, a de-hooker or pliers, and of course, a fishing license. 